Tonight we're gonna to go through the four rules of mindset training. This is something that I came up with very early on in my mindset training, my mindset coaching, probably back in 2008. I probably haven't harped on it enough or as much as I could have, or as much as maybe I should. Uh, but I definitely brought it up a lot this past week at the Oklahoma Coaches Convention. We're there for multiple sports, and we brought this up. Very important, four rules for mindset training. And they are, and it's not in any particular order, but here they are. Write it down. Keep it simple. One thing at a time. And when in doubt, don't think, act. Okay? So let's go through those real quick. So number one, write it down. You've heard many times probably that uh, a dream is just a dream. A dream becomes a goal once, once it's written down and planned for it. What's that really all about? It's about writing it down on paper. Write down your goal and write down your action plan. That's a legitimate goal. Otherwise, it's just a dream floating around in the sky. It's got to be written down on paper. All your good resolutions, all the areas you want to improve, you want to write it down. Get in the habit of writing things down, especially when it comes to something like mindset. Mindset, our thoughts are, you know, they're floating around in the air. Um, in all, of, all of the fields of psychology and mindset, it's kind of like philosophical and theoretical. What we need to do is make it concrete, practical, and tangible. I can't tell you how many self-help books I read over the years that they have a chapter maybe explaining confidence, and then they have maybe three exercises, and then there's another chapter on focus, a whole chapter explaining what focus is and why it's important, then another three exercises. Now, what do people tend to do? I'm guilty of it myself. We want to rip through the book, and we don't even do the exercises. So I'm, I'm reading the book, but I'm not actually writing anything down. Reading is a very passive mode of learning. I've said it many times that if you're just listening to a lecture, you're likely only going to retain 5% of that information. If you're just reading, and that's it, it just stops the reading, 10%. So that's still very, very low because it's very passive. But once I do the exercises, now it jumps up to 70% retention. Right? Studies show that. Again, back in my school psychology days, I had to learn how do children and how do people in general acquire information? How do we learn? Well, that's one of the ways. One of the big ways is when we're actively involved. So we have to get in the habit of writing it down. So that's number one. All mindset training has to be written down. This isn't therapy or motivational speaking. Number two is keep it simple. You've probably heard the analogy many times, not the analogy, but the, um, the phrase, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Very important. Especially when we talk about mindset because there's a lot of things going on, a lot of areas of your life that you're probably trying to improve. You want to keep it simple. Make it as simple as possible. Make it easy. I'd err on the side of making things overly simple in the beginning. A lot of times we try to do things, we try to make, we make things too complicated right away. So let's say we're trying to get on a more serious uh, strength training program. We come up with all the intricate details, the reps, the sets, how many days a week, and we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And it's, it's almost better to just start very simple, few exercises, same rep scheme in the beginning, in the beginning, until you get to that 21 to 28 days where we know a habit is formed, a habit is formed around 21 to 28 days. Then once you've made it a habit, then you could get more intricate with the details, right? Um, we just see this in, in, in every area, even with sales, right? First thing, if you're, if you're making a sales call, keep it simple, know what you're talking about, Get to the points, answer the questions. Don't try to do too much, especially in the beginning. In the beginning, when we try to do too much, we get discouraged and we tend to procrastinate because it's overly perfectionistic. So let's keep it simple, especially at first. Number three, one thing at a time. And that goes along with keeping it simple. You're not gonna master multiple things at one time. It's just too hard, okay? So stick with one thing at a time and your list, of, your list of improvements should never be more than three things. And three things is even asking a lot. So it's a lot of things to keep in our, that's a lot of information to keep in our head at once. One thing at a time, right? One thing at a time, never more than, never more than three. So when we go into a practice, what does that look like in practice? Focus on getting better in one area. Focus on getting better in one area. Don't think of a whole bunch of different areas. No more than three things, but one thing at a time. And then finally, number four, when in doubt, don't think, act. And that might sound funny coming from a mindset coach, but um, if you, let's say you had three athletes, assuming everything's equal. One athlete's a positive thinker, one athlete's a negative thinker, and the other athlete isn't thinking at all. Lights are on, but no one's home. Who's likely to perform the best? We know it's not the negative thinker, throw him right out. 
but it's not the positive thinker either, actually. It's the, it's the athlete that's not thinking, or thinking less, or thinking about the right things. So my job as a mindset coach, our job with winning mindset is not to get you to think more. We don't want you overthinking. That's gonna make you worse. We want you to think less, and we want you to focus on the right things. And because it's the start that stops most people, right? Keep that in mind. It's the start that stops most people, as I said before. We want to, when in doubt, don't think, act. Don't talk yourself out of a run. Get the run in. Don't talk yourself out of making a phone call that you know you need to make this phone call. Make the call. Okay, you got to start writing this book. Don't overthink. When in doubt, don't think, act. Just take action. Get in the habit of, get in the habit of, being the person who takes action in the present. Okay, most people aren't like that. Um, a big reason why we were able to make this business and we were able to, you know, move up pretty quickly uh, in terms of success was because I was always, always a big believer in action. Get it going first. Don't get it perfect right away. Get it going. Now I get it. Um, you want things to be clean. You want things to be neat. You want to do things right. That you do want to plan. But my big belief is. When in doubt, don't think, act, because most people do not take action. That's the biggest problem. If you know you're, if you know you're a person that's always pulling the trigger, you're taking chances, you're getting after it, you're sometimes a little bit sloppy, okay, then that's maybe one out of 50 people. In your case, slow it down. In your case, start planning ahead. But most people, you know, literally 49 out of 50 people, they're just not taking enough action. Take action, start writing your business plan. Start the start start your nutrition plan tonight. Your diet, start it right now. Stop overthinking. Start writing the book. Start writing the book. You're, tr you're trying to make something, start making it. You wanna start organizing your room, clean your house, whatever it is, do it now. Just start right now. So when in doubt, don't think, act. Stop priding yourself on being a talented person. Okay, most people pride themselves on, oh, look at the talent that I have, right? Look at, look at this, this God-given talent, the born talent I have. Start prodding yourself on being a person of action. You're the type of person, when there's something to do, boom, you jump in right away. And three second rule, I've heard this with a lot of success with people, the three second rule. You get a thought of something that you know you should be doing or something that you know would be beneficial, don't, don't think about it more than three seconds, you're gonna talk yourself right out of it. So number four, when in doubt, don't think, act. Four rules of mindset training. I know this video is a little bit longer than we normally do, but it's very important that we let this sink in. It's such an important lesson, and I got, I got to start emphasizing it more. So again, four rules of mindset training. Write it down. Keep it simple. One thing at a time. And when in doubt, don't think, act. Make sure you stay with us. More great episodes to come. Mindset makes the difference.